Hey, long rodders, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. In this video, we are going to cover the Hendrick Dark Hendrickson Nymph, and we have it. It's our version of it, so you won't catch this fly anywhere else. And this is going to catch fish, so you make sure you tie these up. And this is the next step as we're going through the nymphs, the merger of the Hendrix of the Hendrickson. So make sure you stay with us. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And make sure if you I've already subscribed, make sure you still subscribe. They don't subscribe people sometimes on YouTube. So make sure you still subscribe. And thank you for coming and watching our videos. Now let's get to the tying section of this video. And make sure you stay to the end of this video so we can have discussion about this fly and talk more about this fly. So let's get to the vice. We're going to start this fly by debarbing the hook and then we're going to run the thread all the way back to shank to the bend of the hook. We're using a size 14, 12 or 10. I'm tying these in 12 and we're using black 70 denier thread. We're going to use lemon wood duck for the tail and the legs. We'll just get a little clump for the tail. You want to make the tail the same length of the shank of the hook. We're going to use the other end that's not being used for tail to build up the body of the fly. So we're not going to cut this off. We're going to build up the body of the fly and then we'll cut it off up towards the eye. We're going to tie in a piece of dark brown tying thread and we're going to double that up and make it a loop and use two pieces of it. We're gonna twist that together. We're gonna to use that as for a rib. What the old recipe for this fly uh, asked for was a uh, red fox dubbing. So it's like a light brown like little red hairs mixed in there we found a real light brown like a red mixed in with it on our ice dubbing block so we're going to use that as dubbing Now we're going to twist that tying thread together to make it like one and we're going to rib the fly the opposite way you wrapped your uh, dubbing. This will make it a stronger fly and your, your ribbing will stick out more. We're going to rib this up to where we stopped the dubbing. Now for the wing case, we're going to use uh, nymph skin and we're going to cut that about a quarter inch wide. We want it just to go across the top of the fly, not to wrap around the sides too much. We're going to cut about that quarter inch wide.
Now you're going to take the paper off the back of the nymph skin and tie it in and make sure you have it tied directly on top of the hook. You're gonna take you're gonna take more of that dubbing and you're gonna dub the thorax You're going to leave a little room behind the eyelet, as you can see here. You're going to pull the nymph skin over, directly over top. Pull it down and secure it down with your thread. I like pulling back on the nymph skin. This will make a little more room right behind the eyelet and then fold it back and cut it off and if you have a little piece sticking out that you didn't get cut quite cut off because you can't clo cut, clo cut it close enough without cutting your thread you just leave it back there and you won't even notice it now what you're going to do here is you're going to cut the very tip of the wood, wood duck out so now you're going to have a V. There's not going to have no stem here. And it's going to be like a V like this. And you're going to trim some feathers off the side. So you have just, so you're going to have a V. And you're going to have like feather, five feathers on this side. And five pack fibers on this side. So this is what you end up with both the same amount of fibers on both sides in a V. And then you could just take that and stick that right down in the, on both sides of the hook. Measure your length, your legs, both sides for the same length. Not quite to the bend of the hook. And then you can tie them in. And doing it this way by not tying each set of legs on both sides is you won't build up as much bulk. So you're just going to tie this in. Run your thread up behind the eyelet. Pull back and cut off your waist. Whip finish it.
So what I like to do is take my thumbnail and push up over the eyelet and this will push any stray thread wraps you got it in over the eyelet back over and then head cement it. That did it. And there we tied another one's in the book, boys. And that's the Hendrickson Nymph. Um, let's take a closer look at this nymph, and we'll discuss more after we take a closer look at this cool, amazing, and it's going to work nymph. you guys like that fly that Hendrickson nymph that's really gonna work and I think they're gonna take this no matter what because that flash dubbing really seems to add an extra shininess to the, the nymphs that really get the fish excited this is gonna be a really a very productive pattern so make sure you tie them up get in your box and now we're starting on the Hendrickson and this uh, next will be the merger and then we'll do a dry fly we'll probably do a hackless dry fly again no, nah, maybe we'll, no. I think we'll do a cat skills dry fly with a burnt wing. I'm not sure, but make sure you stay, keep watching our videos so you don't miss any of these upcoming videos. We got videos here that you're not going to see anywhere else that's originally to this channel. And I kind of make them and uh, test them and they seem, they work really good. So make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and there'll be a chance for you to end up subscribe if you haven't yet right here. It's a good chance, place to click that. You can subscribe. Um, I will make sure that I cover the cat skills. I will link to my old, an older video, so you can check that out. And then you'll see the new ones. Uh, the new ones, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a burnt wing for them, uh, or a gansel burnt wing for them. Um, I've been looking at a lot of different materials for wings at Walmart and other material stores and found all kinds of cool wings material and uh, we'll keep you uh, upgraded as we do different wing material we'll show you how to do use different materials for wings so make sure you subscribe and keep watching for new videos and new material ideas and new tying ideas make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these cool tying videos that we do and uh, we're really going to be on the creek within showing you using these flies that we've tied so far we'll probably go out this weekend uh, which will be tomorrow or Sunday I'm not sure which day we're going to go out I guess it's all up to Tracy because she has to work the next weekend after that she has her weekend off we'll probably go to Pine or Loyal Soccer maybe both who knows so make sure you keep Watching us, you gotta miss. Don't miss any of this action that's coming up. And uh, there's other cool, and exciting news I have once it's final. That it's gonna be really cool for this channel. So make sure you subscribe, and we'll, we'll see you in the future. Keep your lines wet out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.